Hello YouTube, Mobile Technology Reviews here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the apps and games that I currently have on my TrackPhone LG A40G. Um, so obviously this is an updated video. My original video, What's on my LG A40G, came out about a year ago. But since then I have gathered quite a few more games and apps for this phone, and um, I'm going to show them to you in this video. Um, and just so you know, all of the apps and games that will be shown in this video are available to download for free on my website um, that is mobiletechnologyreviews.weebly.com um, the link will be in the description so if you want to head on over there and uh, download these apps and games for your own LG A40G you know go ahead and um, also before we begin um, I want to give a special thanks to a fellow YouTuber Jared Wintermashaw um, I probably just butchered that name so pardon me but anyway um, Jared is um, the guy who basically discovered all of these apps and games I'm going to show you today um, he did some research around the re on the web and you know he found them he sent them to me so that I could remove the virtual Java keypad and um, I put them on my website so that all of you could enjoy them um, so thanks Jared for that I really do appreciate it um, so with all of that out of the way Let's go ahead and um, check out the apps and games. So let's start with the first one on the list, which is 2048. Now I'm sure plenty of you are familiar with the popular puzzle game 2048. Um, it came out kind of a while ago on iOS and Android. And if you're familiar with the game Threes, um, this is very similar to that. In fact, it's almost a copy of it. Um, but anyway. Basically, the point of the game is you. There are numbered tiles on a grid, and you slide them and combine them with each other until they equal up to 2048. So it's it's pretty simple. I'm sure all of you know what 2048 is. So that was the main menu there, pretty basic. And here we go. Here's the app itself. It's got a blue, white, and gray color scheme, which is not like the Android and iOS apps, which have more of a uh, you know orange, red, beige kind of color scheme, but you know, you swipe them together, it's pretty fluid. It works well, I think. Obviously, it's more choppy than the iOS and Android versions of this app because this is Java. Um, but all in all, I think it works pretty well, and you know, it's a pretty self explanatory app. Um, but this is not the only version of 2048 that I have on this phone. As you might have seen earlier when I was scrolling through the list of apps, you, know, you might have saw another version of 28, which is actually better than this one. This particular version of 2048 um, does not actually save your game. So let's say you're playing 2048 on your LGA 40G and you get a phone call. And you know you answer it, and then you hang up, you want to go play your game again. And the uh, game won't be saved. So let's say you got to 512, for example and you got the phone call, you'd have to restart from scratch over again, and that's not very good. So, that is exactly why we have this version, 2048 Puzzle here. Now this version is really close to the Android and iOS versions of the game. Um, here's your main menu. You know, it's got Play Now, you can rate the app, get some help on how to use the app, about, exit, Pretty simple. And here we go. And as you can see, I was playing this game earlier, and uh, it did save my score. And that's a really nice feature. And this app also has the same color scheme as the iOS and Android apps, the orange, beiges, and you know, tans, that kind of color scheme. I think it looks a lot better. I think it's a lot more authentic. And I think that it performs better. Um, so, you know, up here shows you your score and your high score. You can also start a new game here, and this brings you back to your main menu. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I think this is a really nice quality Java app for this phone. So anyway, there's 2048, both versions of it. Angry Birds, Angry Birds Halloween, Asphalt have all been shown in my previous video, so I'm not going to take the time to go over those again. You can just check out my older What's on my LG A40G video to find out more information about those particular apps, but I'm going to talk about Boxobox now. Now this is another 
um, game that Jared found for me. And um, it's a little bit hard to explain. I actually do not know much about this app, so I'm probably not the best person to be explaining it to you. Um, but it's it's kind of like a puzzle game, I guess you could say. And um, you basically have to... You have a little box, and you have to stay in between these outer region boxes. I'm um, sorry that sounds a little bit confusing, but um, I'll just show you. If you want to show you, you'll probably understand it a little bit better. Here's the main menu. It's got new games, more apps, and options. So I'm just going to click new game. It's got a level select here. Level 1. So as you can see, those little green boxes are kind of like the outer perimeter. Now you have to stay in that perimeter with your box, which is right here. And you swipe to move your box. And as you can see, I'm staying in between. But then if I go like that, you flat into outer space because you didn't stay in between the boxes. Now you might want to ask someone else, possibly Jared, because I think he might know a little bit more about this app. But, um, you know, it's it looks decent. I think the UI is pretty, pretty sound, and it plays pretty smoothly. As you can see, you are timed up here. And, you know, that that's Boxobox. Not really, I'm not really the best person to explain to you, so apologies for, for that, but... Tried my best to, you know, tell you all that I knew, knew about it. Alright, here is Cut the Rope. Again, this is another very popular iOS and Android app. It's been out for a while now. And as you can see here, there's actually a... Um, an intro scene to the app that shows your little frog guy there. And that's very nice. I was not expecting that for a you know a Java game. And in the uh, video here, plays pretty nicely. Okay, and here's the main menu. You know, it's got play, close the app, and view your achievements there. Um, so again, you all probably know what cut the rope is, you know, you, there's candy uh, attached to a rope and you have to cut it so that it falls into the little froggy's mouth, so you can make him happy. Um, here's your level select. Let's go to level three here. And there you go, you know, you cut the rope. And he falls into the guy's mouth. Now obviously I didn't get the other two stars there, but, um, you know, you get the main principle of the game there. It's fairly self-explanatory and this game um, surprised me quite a bit this is probably one of the best playing games on the LG A40G it's just smooth, the UI is very similar to the iOS and Android version and just it's an overall really nice game so there's Cut the Rope here we go, let's take a look at Don't Tap the White Tile now, you saw right there how fast that loaded. Now, I'm very, very surprised at that, because most games and apps take kind of, kind, of a, kind of a long time on this phone. I mean, this processor is not overly powerful. Um, but I'm surprised that that loaded very, very quickly. Um, but So here is Don't Tap the White Tile. I'm sure you're all familiar with this game as well. You, there's a line of tiles that go across the screen. And... Um, most of them are white, but some of them are black, and you tap the black ones and see how far you can get, basically. There are several modes here, classic, arcade, zen, you can rate the app, view help on how to use it, about, and exit. Here's classic mode, as you can see here. Tap the black tiles and avoid the white ones, you know, while it's timing you here. And this app, unlike Cut the Rope, does not play that smoothly. It is kind of choppy, and it's not all that fluid. Um, it's got fast load times, and the UI itself is pretty nicely laid out and very similar to the iOS and Android versions, but the actual fluidity of the app is not exactly on par with what I would expect. Um, but there's Don't Tap the White Tile. 
It's another good, good app on this phone. Doodle Jump, Facebook, I've all covered in my previous video. Um, here's Flappy Birds. Um, now, I know that all of you have heard about Flappy Bird. It's one of the more popular apps earlier in the year. And uh, the creator took it off the Android and iOS app stores, but I was able to find a Java version of this game that's very similar to the iOS and Android versions. So here's the main menu. You've got Play, Help, Raid, and About. And here we go. As you can see, I am not very skilled at this game. Sorry if my fingers get in the way. Um, so this game is not all that fluid. Um, compared to the iOS and Android versions, it is not fluid at all. But for Java, you know, you can't expect very much from Java, but anyway. Um, it's fairly fluid on Java, but when compared to iOS and Android, it's not all that fluid. Um, as you can see here, my best score is 4. And I've played this game quite often, and it's, it's very difficult. Just because... You know, tapping the bird is just, it's just a different experience altogether on this phone. There's just something about it that makes it a lot harder. Now, that's a good challenge, but, you know, I'd prefer it to be a little bit easier than it actually is. But there we go, there's Flappy Birds. I think the UI is, you know, pretty standard, pretty decent for what it is. Fork of Weather, Fruit Ninja, Google Maps, Jetpack Soldier, Opera Mini have all been covered in my previous video, but here we go, we have Total Conquest. Um, now this is another game that I don't know a ton about, so I'm, again, I'm probably not the best person to be you know, giving you information about it, but basically what it is, it's, it's similar to Clash of Clans, very similar to Clash of Clans. Um, Clash of Clans is not available on Java, so Jared here found Total Conquest for me. And uh, he said that it was the closest thing he could find to Clash of Clans that was available for his phone, so here it is. Um, I have not actually started playing this game yet, so I'm not, you know, I haven't built anything, haven't done anything like that, I haven't built a clan or anything like that. Um, but if you know what Clash of Clans is like, you basically know what this is like. There's not too many differences between this and Clash of Clans. Now, Clash of Clans is obviously a better app than this. The UI is better, the story is better, you know, everything is just better on Clash of Clans. Um, but if you have an LG 840G, you obviously can't get your hands on Clash of Clans. And so, if you want something that's similar, Total Conquest is, is for you. So there we go, there's Total Conquest. Let me just see if there's any apps that I forgot to show you guys. That looks like it's it. So those are the new apps and games, mostly games actually, that I've gotten recently on my LG 840G. And again, they are all available for download on my website. The link will be in the description, so head on over there. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and sorry for not being able to give you um, adequate information about Box O Box and Total Conquest, that's just because I haven't played them very much and I don't know a ton about them. Um, but anyway, again, thank you for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time. See ya.